In this video, I'm going to be showing how to find two's complement. So let's say we have the number nine one point five seven eight one two five. So before we can find two's complement of this number, we need to convert to binary. So I'm going to draw my little graph that I always do for my conversion from decimal to binary. This side is 91, this side is 5, 7, 8, 1, 2, 5. <clears throat> Divide by 2 would be 45 with a remainder of 1. Divide 45 by 2, which would be 22, with the remainder of 1. Divide by 11, a 0 remainder. Divide that, it go 5 times with 1 remainder. It'll go into 5 2 times with 1 remainder. It'll go into 2 1 time with 0 remainder. And it will go into one zero times with the remainder of one. Now on this other side, we're going to times by two. Let's see, that times two, we're going to get 1.156250 times that by two is 0 0.312500 times that by 2 we're going to get 0 0.62500 times that by 2 we'll get 1.2500 times this by 2 0 0.500 and 1 and we're going to get zero, zero, zero. So there is our binary number. And remember from the other video, start here, go up, get to the decimal point, go down. Sorry, you can hear my dogs in the background. So we have one zero one one zero one one point one zero zero one zero one. So we are trying to find two's complement, which very simple. All this means is the next step we need to do is wherever you see a one, we're going to rewrite this number. Where you see a one, we'll put zero. Where you see a zero, put one. Wow, well, I messed that one up. Okay, ignore that. <laughs> It's zero one zero zero one zero zero point zero one one zero one zero. So what we want to do is we're trying to find a number that when you take this binary number and minus the number, you get nothing but zeros. Now on this side we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We only have seven bits. We need another bit. That would be zero. When we invert it, it'll be one. So what we're going to do is take this last number and make it a one. And you'll see why next. So we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, point one zero zero one zero one, which is 73. Next we have this number which is one zero one zero zero one zero zero point zero one one zero one one which this number is negative seventy three. So this is our complement, our twos complement for seventy three. And this is why. One minus one I'm sorry, 1 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1, and as you see, 
we're going to be doing this all the way to the end. We're going to constantly be carrying over R1. Now, that's it. We have R1 carried over here, but we're done. We only are using eight bits of this number, so we don't care what this one goes to or what it does. All we care is that this equals zero, which it does. So our two-bit complement, I mean our two's complement, is one zero, one zero zero one zero zero point zero one one zero one one, which is negative seventy-three. Okay, let me give you another example. Let's just go with 100. So finding two's complement really means we are trying to find negative 100. So 100, I'm not gonna go through the whole binary division to come up with the binary number. You guys can do that yourself, but it would be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, which is 100. So next step, change it over. 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So we're going to change this last number. And all you're doing is adding a 1 to this number. So when we add a 1 here, we have 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So now this is our 2 bit, or 2's complement, which Let's test this out and make sure. Let's take our original 100, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Let's add our 2's complement, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. This is 0, 0, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. One, one, and a one that we don't care about. And there's the zero. So two's complement for 100 is one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, zero. Let's try one more example here. Let's try, let's be simple here. Let's try um, negative 128. <clears throat> so negative, or 128, let's try 128. Actually, let's try 127. To make this a little bit easier here. So, 127 binary would be 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Let's flip this over and do 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let's add 1. We get one zero 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 one, and that is our two's complement. So let's try it, test it out. Let's take our twenty-seven, two three, and add our negative twenty-seven. One and one is one, one, one. And we don't care about this carryover. And that's that.